There are many tools to work with containers. We already know about container images and container bundles, and we even know that we don't need container image to run a container. Moreover, we even have a container bundle that we do need to run a container. The last step in our OCI journey is to finally run it. For this, we are going to use a container runtime. As a reminder, we need a container runtime to bind together different bits and pieces that make up a container. Cgroups, user namespaces, process namespaces, various security mechanisms like AC Linux and Linux capabilities, and so on, and then finally, start a container process. The most popular container runtime right now is RunC. If you look under the Docker, Podman, or many other container managers, you will notice that all of them, in the end, spawn containers with the help of RunC. We will examine this ourselves in a later video. But first, let's get RunC running. To install RunC, you can either install the RunC package or container D package, which includes RunC inside it. In the next video, we will use RunC to learn a bit about runtime spec. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.